So this is a, a fake snake. It's a cheat and it's a fly that works really, really well. When you're not allowed snakes in competitions, because of the, the, the massive length of the shank on this thing, it performs very similar to a snake um, without being illegal, basically. And that's the hook. It's a Streamer 9X, size 8, so it's a long shank hook. And I've knocked the barbell for that. And it's actually quite an easy flight to tie compared to snake, so hence its name, Fake Snake. It's really quick to tie. Um, black tying thread. I'm just gonna come in, work my way down the hook shank. I don't need to be too fussy. But my tying, my tying in point at the rear is, that's where I'm fussy. So I get a good little bed of thread in there. That's gotta be my tying in point. I've then got this stuff. Um, Ice yarn, fluorescent green. And what I do, I tie this, this particular one I tie quite similar to a Viva. So there's like two strands there and all I'm going to do is take the strands out. So I've got two to work with, otherwise it'll be too thick. You can see I've got two strands there, I'm just pulling them apart. And I just, Get some of this thread back up here. Tie in. Work my way down. Keep it on top of the hook shank. So I've got a nice even body. And then again, my tying in point, get a few wraps on there. And I'm just going to take a bit of Velcro. Let's pull some of that out. Let's see there. Like so. And then we've got some black rabbit. And all we're going to do is take a pinch of this rabbit for over the back. Give yourself plenty to work with. Um, I was going to sell more than enough. So I've got a really long strip there. And all I'm going to do is wet my thumb and forefinger and separate the fibres, the hair fibres and make sure it's a, a, a clean separation so you can see the skin like so, I can see the skin there and just get everything out of the way, get your tying in point and then come over with really strong locking turns the thread you didn't need to put varnish on this if you use the right thread. This is a uni. That's him sitting nice now. And then all I case of is, I've got the same yarn, and all I do is I pull the fibres away and I create dubbing. So it's all the same colour. So we'll just, we'll stick a dubbing rope on. You didn't need to be too fancy, so because of the nature of the fly, it's a big lure, it's a big mouthful. I basically stick a thin rope. It doesn't bother me if a little bit of the thread on the body comes through. It's really not a big deal, but for the purpose of the aesthetics on this fly, you'll do it nice and neat with nice touch and turns. So get all your, your, your hair out of the way and then just start working up. Does it need to be a thick body? Thick body, especially with this stuff, adds bulk. Um, and you want that sleek look of a snake. So as thin as you can, not, not overly thick. Just enough on that tying thread to cover the black thread underneath. Now I'm gonna stop here because I want a bit of space at the head. A little bit of space, and I'll show you why, because we've got to put another tag in. So the bit that we separated away, this is the other, the other length. I'm just going to tie that in on the underside of the hook shank. Like so. And I want to cut this 
just at an angle. Bring your thread right up so you've got a nice even body and then just snip him away. So what I'll do here is I'll just I'll tidy the head up because we're going to bring the rabbit up and you want a good area for tying in because it's quite a, a thick bit of skin so we've got to come up pulling the rabbit up and you see it, it literally is a snake separate the ha hair again what I do with these ones is I tend to leave a little bit of hair on at the head I didn't actually separate it for the skin so keeping it tight just lock the thread in but it has to be tight. You can see it's tight all the way along the body there. That rabbit's tight to the back of the the, um, the hook shank. There we are. Now we come in with our scissors, pull everything well back. You can do this with a knife or scissors, but just make sure that you cut it so that it's, I'll just quickly show you, so it's flush on the head. You've got no lumps and bumps, and then you can tidy it up with thread wraps. So now we're just going to tidy. Now bear in mind this is a bulky bit of skin so we'll have quite a big head on this. If it was a bit thinner rabbit skin obviously the head wouldn't have been as big but it's part of the fly at the end of the day. So just tidying up with thread wraps. Creating the head. In with your whip finishing tool, whip finish, and then because of the nature of the fly, a big lure, it needs to be robust. I super glue uh, the head and then varnish. You can see there, it's um, spot on for a snake. So, a little bit of super glue in the head. Again, what it'll do is it'll tidy up the head area as well. So, a bit of super glue. And then once that's dry, obviously I'll come in with a bit of varnish. But that's your fake snake. A great fly um, that sort of gets around to the, the competition rules regarding the two hook shanks. Uh, and one that's worked for me and plenty of competitions where f snake flies haven't been allowed. Um, this is a really, really good substitute. Basically a long matuka, easy to tie, and I particularly like this black and green coloration. My other one would be all white, um, but I only fish two. Uh, is this black and green one in white, and these are the flies that I'd fish on. Both still waters, small and larger reservoirs. I really hope you enjoyed that little cheat, folks. Um, a great fly to tie, and pretty easy to tie to be fair, but it's very, very effective. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, plenty more fly tying and fly fishing videos on there. I'd really appreciate it. Take care, folks, and bye-bye.